Hey everybody, long time no see. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Just wanted to let you know that I finally have some campers in. Uh, we, we received two today. And today's is going to be pretty special because I've never done a video on a Lance 825. That's Lance's lightest four season rated truck camper. Um, and for some reason, I, I was looking through my videos and I have absolutely zero videos on the 825. So uh, that's who's gonna be the star of the show today. Give you a quick look at it here on the outside, then we'll go to the inside. All right, so this one being the lightest four season uh, rated truck camper that Lance produces, it comes in weighing at about 2260 with the options added, you know, options being awnings, uh, just all sorts of stuff. I mean, this one's pretty much got it all upgraded ac all that good stuff so that's including all of the added options that's not standard features but uh yeah it comes in about 2260 dry and about 2500 and some change wet all right so we're just going to walk down the side here we have all electric jacks if you notice here we got some bug guts this one needs to be sent through detail uh we'll probably get that done tomorrow but you got all electric jacks controlled by one remote um and if that remote ever fails you do have the option to pop this cap off here i don't have any fingernails flip that switch down pack a lunch and get the crank in there then we also have one propane tank it is a five gallon uh, some people call it 20 pound uh, i think there's a few different names for it but we also have a gauge there on the side that'll read full when it's full of propane that way you know exactly how much you have to work with. All right, then we got our 30 gallon fresh water tank so you can take 30 gallons on the go with you. It's kind of just like a gravity fed water fill. You just stick your garden hose in there and let it fill up until it blows out down here. This is hard to do with one hand. All right, then we got our little uh, hot water tank access and then all your campground connections are also on the driver's side so you have your 30 amp plug in then you have your city water connection here and then your black water flush system outdoor shower you can hose your feet off outside or whatever else you want to do then if you notice this this is actually part of the four season package this insulated door latch here that helps keep this camper four seasons but uh you have a little storage area there and then right below you have a little bit more storage and then you also find that that's where you know your city water connects to black water flush system and it all leads to somewhere for the back that's what we're looking like back here you have your wireless backup camera looks like a little GPS that uh, you mount into your truck uh, and then it plugs into the DC outlet so you can actually see what's behind you when you're trying to make a lane change or if you're trying to back up to a trailer then we have our manual awning it's nice to have if it's raining outside you can let this out that way you don't get soaked when you walk right out the door we have our little external charging station here a couple outlets that's where our drop station is and it's a whole lot easier to get to while it's on the truck you have your let's see yep that's your hot water line right there cold water fresh water then you have your gray and black. Your gray is going to be a 13 gallon capacity. Black water's a 15, 14 gallon capacity. All right, and seems like everybody wants to see what the roof looks like, so we're going to walk, climb on up here. All right, so up here we get to take a look at the Lance roof. The 825 is a fully walk on roof. We have, uh, I think they call this the Maggie. No, that, that's the uh, little thing I just climbed on the ladder. 
This is the Lance Load Rack Roof System here. So you have two crossbars that go across, and I have seen people put kayaks and those Yakima style carrying boxes up here. But like I said, this roof is fully walk on, no soft spots. There's our fantastic vent, upgraded AC, and solar panel, and then TV antenna. Then we got a couple of vents there for the bathroom. All right, so now I'm gonna climb down this camper while also trying not to fall. There we go. And let me tell you something, these Lances, they've got a beefy roof or a ladder system. If you look at that, would you look at that? I mean, that's about as beefy as it gets for a camper ladder system. A lot of people don't really pay attention to that, but I do. All right, so that kind of covers the back there. You have this power side awning made by Carefree. Uh, you can hit a button extend it and then if you leave the power on to it it'll also uh, roll itself back in if it gets too windy outside then of course we got some outdoor speakers here so you can jam out while you're cooking out some outdoor patio lights and that awning will also have a nice led light strip built in at the end of it and then dual pane windows that's also a part of the four season package all right now I'm assuming that everybody wants to see the inside, so let's go check it out. All right, so walking on in the camper, this is the new style. This is the driftwood cabinetry, uh, marble looking countertops, and then you have Java, Royal, and Platinum to choose from as far as interior choices, and we'll get to that here in just a moment. The 825 comes equipped with a wet bath, wet bath meaning that your shower and your toilet are in the same room, integrated and not separated. Uh, you got your little toilet holder over here. An oh crap handle, just like your car when things get serious. Uh, vent to air it out up in here. And then plenty of room to take a shower and sit on the toilet without banging your knees up against the door. So they thought of it all when it comes to this bathroom. Straight across from the bathroom area, you have your closet. It is a pretty good sized closet here. And then if you wonder where I get my weights from, it's actually right here on this uh, little sticker that they put inside every camper. It says 2528 with factory installed options. And that is wet weight. Uh, if you take the wet weight away, it's subtract 269. So that brings you like 2259 or something dry with all the options that we have added to this camper. So 2259 puts you about at the exact dry weight. All right, next we have the kitchen area. You have a sink right over here, right across from the bathroom. Quite a bit of countertop space here in the middle, give you a little bit of room to do some, I don't know what you do when you cook, uh, cutting whatever you know storing paper towels coffee mixers and all that good stuff and then you have plug-ins up here so you can actually plug in a coffee mixer or coffee maker excuse me and then this also does come with a sink cover all right this one comes equipped with a, a stove top option um, it's a two burner stove top no oven on this one it's actually not an option on the 825 but you can get it on the 865 then we've got a microwave here. This is where I do most of my cooking, you know, like hot pockets and ramen noodles and stuff. And then right next to it, we have a refrigerator. It is a three cubic foot fridge. Quite a bit of space in there. And then your ice box is up top here. This refrigerator is a three way fridge, so you can actually run it on AC, DC or propane. Propane gets it cold faster. Um, if you're plugged in at the campground, you can run it off of AC when you're plugged in with that 30 amp cord. And then uh, going down the road, you can run it off of a or DC or um, gas. 
Over here we have our control panel. This is where you turn on your water pump, water heater on gas, or electric. Uh, and then you can check your battery levels here also by hitting this button. Check your fresh water, black water, or gray water tank levels also. Fresh water being 30 gallons, black water being 14, and gray being 13. Below that we've got a radio. Uh, you can throw a DVD in there if you want to or just play standard radio. Below the sink, you have a couple pull-out drawers. These are non-slam. Put that door in a little bit. All right, moving on up. You've got a 19-inch LED TV that does swing out. You can see it from the dinette or in the bed if you push it back in. You've got a Camper Queen mattress some reading lamps, fantastic roof vent, and shelf to store your goodies. And that's how you uh, control the TV. Uh, that, that works the TV antenna. You'll pick up some local channels with that. All right, then the dinette. Like I said, this one is in Royal uh, interior option. You do have Royal, Java, and Platinum to choose from. And this is not only the first 825 that I've done uh, on this channel, but also the first Royal Interior Camper that I've posted. So this is a first for many things. The uh, dinette does fold into a bed. Uh, this camper allows for up to five, uh, well, four adults and one child. And to make this into a bed, this bunk here, you pull that out, pull this out, if I can get my hand on it. There we go. And lay that down. And slide that over. And that is how you make this into a bed. Doesn't take long at all. And then to raise it back up, you just reverse everything that I just did. And that way you can use it as storage. Moving on over, you've got you a clock that doesn't work unless it has batteries in it. Uh, this is where you check the voltage going to the batteries from the solar panel. This is how you work your awning right here. You turn this on and hit that button one time down to extend or hit it one time up to retract. And you have your awning light here, some key rings, and that's how you turn on the light to the bathroom. So uh, I believe that covers just about all of it. I'll go ahead and do one more pass through without talking. That way you can look at the camper one more time. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video of Lance's lightest four season rated truck camper. Uh, I know I was stoked to get this one in today. I didn't recognize that I, you know, have never posted a video of a 825 before. So uh, I was happy to get this one in. Glad to get it posted up for y'all. That way, you know, you can have different models to, uh, you know, pick, pick from, you know. So, uh, yeah, if you're new to, to the channel, also go ahead and subscribe. I think we're over 11,600 now. That's awesome. I've been doing this a year now, so we've grown a lot in the past year. That's awesome. If you like the video, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. Lance Lance, or let's Lance, let's YouTube know, not Lance. Let's YouTube know that I might know what I'm talking about. Might be enjoyable to watch. 
Uh, if you're interested in one of these Lance campers, go ahead and comment below or give me a phone call at 423-892-6272. And all that will be below in the description. And uh, yeah, so I should have more videos coming out pretty soon for all you guys. And stay tuned, stay safe, and have a great day.